Phil Mackey here. I've been using Conversion AI for the last few weeks. I feel comfortable releasing five tips that I've found to help me write better AI-powered content with Conversion.ai. It's a super cool tool. If you've heard about it, I've got tips for you here. And if you haven't heard about it, it's a great time for me to tell you all the cool things that it can do. All right, we're gonna hit it with the theme music and get started. So my first tip is talking about two special characters that I use in the long form content editor uh, to help me write. And one of those is the triple asterisk character. And that's just letting Jarvis know that you want to develop a new thought and a new paragraph there. And uh, so if you have typed enough, you can actually have Jarvis spit out a new paragraph to the best of his abilities. I find employing this is one way to do it. And then also, I love these questions. Um, SEO people love writing questions in their uh, copy, but how does A-B testing work? Well, it, you can write a question and uh, put two hash symbols and you will get Jarvis to answer a question. So that would be tip number one. I love these two little placeholders. Um, they're gonna help you write better Jarvis content instantly. So I'm calling this tip number two. Tip number two is when you start off and you create a new document and you have a long form uh, content brief that you just are super stuck on, you wanna make sure you fill out your keywords, but also go ahead and seed this from competitor content if you need. Uh, you can also make changes there, but look at competitor content, use that to fill out the long form assistant, and maybe even employing the rephraser where you get stuck. That way you filled out this completely. So I've talked about how much I love the, uh, the hash symbols in order to get better content. And uh, yeah, one of the ways that I source these questions is, well, uh, if you look in Google SERPs, you can find, if you grab your root keyword, in my instance, my root keyword would be A-B testing. If I go to A-B testing, look at this. We've got these questions that Google already expects us to answer for. If I were you, I would make sure that you put these in your content and you can go ahead and slam them in there using the double hash symbols to have Jarvis answer them for you. So make sure you're seeding content from the local SERPs and you, uh, not local SERPs, but the SERPs and you can uh, use this people also ask as a way to jumpstart your brain and pretty much do the homework for you. And for tip number four, I recommend that you fill out this entry point on long form assistant as much as possible. I noticed that my quality of content that Jarvis spits out and outputs is much higher when I write unique content. I know that's not the point of Jarvis, it's to write our own unique content, but there's still a large degree of sourcing that needs to happen. So when you write good, unique content that maximizes that 600 character count. In fact, I kind of wish they would bump this up higher, but that's my tip number four for getting better content with Jarvis. So my last tip is going to be, you may notice that Jarvis, when he's doing his business, he may spit out factoids and numbers and dates and values that just don't make any sense, or rather they're inaccurate. Um, Jarvis is artificially intelligent capable, so he's trying to do his best and use the algorithm to create sort of a discussion. And part of that discussion is with factoid justifications when Jarvis serves up a factoid or a number or something, I think it's a good instance to fact check him, make sure he's doing something, uh, he's talking about the right metric, but also find the correct version because he's trying to tell you that if I were writing a paper, I would put a factoid here. So don't be mad that Jarvis has saying, hey, you got it wrong. It should be more of Jarvis is telling me that I need to put a factoid here related to my thing to make this an awesome article. Um, this was an awesome video. I hope you enjoyed my five tips on how to get the most out of content powered uh, AI with Jarvis. So I will talk to you later. I hope you like this. Please reach out with any questions. If you'd like to get started using Jarvis, there's a link in my description. Uh, you can get started with that and uh, I shall talk to you all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.